So happy to have Fred Armisen back this week. It's been wonderful having you here, my friend. Oh, thank you. And I know you're very busy, and for you to make time for us is so great. Because you were even saying that one of the downsides of how busy you are, and obviously we're all happy you're busy, you're happy you're busy, is you have not had time to read as much as you would like to. You are a great lover of fiction. Is that I not true? I love fiction. You so love much. fiction. Yeah, nonfiction not so much, but fiction I love. You love fiction. Fiction is my favorite. Yeah. yeah. Of the two. Of the two, I'd take fiction over nonfiction. Yeah. And you were saying because you no longer have time to read, you had to develop, and I was blown away by this, you developed a process where you can look at the cover of a book, and from the cover, you can glean everything about it. The entire plot, all the characters, the twists, the turns, and you feel as fulfilled as if you'd read the book. Yes, it's the same thing, really. It's all you need is the cover. Wow. Do you mind if we try it one more time? Sure. All right, everybody. Uh, once again, it's time to test it out in a segment called Fred Judges a Book by Its Cover. <laughs> all right. Ready, bud? Sure. Okay, here we go. This is The Wedding Guest by Jonathan Kellerman. Fred, what is this book about? Well, it's a very literal book. Um, very what? A very literal book. Literal, okay. And, uh, well, it's this best-selling author, and it's Jonathan Kellerman. Uh-huh. And so he wrote the whole thing, yeah. beginning to end. He, had, he wrote it all. He wrote the whole thing, had no help. Uh, gotcha. There was an assistant part way through, but pretty much it was all him. Gotcha. Jonathan. And, um, you call him Jonathan? Yes. Yeah. And, um... There's this uh, the wedding that was about to happen, uh -huh. and uh, they, you know, they sent out all the invites, right? So the books, it's a beautiful beginning, like they describe all the invitations, oh, okay, and yeah, yeah. the paper, and yeah, like, yeah. you could feel the paper, and oh, it's like wow. very cardstock, yeah, and yeah, like, yeah, yeah. you know, uh, all the print and everything, yeah. beautiful. And there were 100 invitations. Okay. So uh, they uh, gave it uh, personally to a mailman. The mailman's like, I don't really, you know, you can't give it to me. You've got to go to the post office to do this, <laughs> right? Oh, so they just, like, flagged a, a mailman on the street down. Yes, and he's outraged. He's like, D please don't do this to me. <laughs> and so they're like, listen, you are a service, and we're giving these, and we're done with this part of our wedding. <laughs> so he's like, little did they know that his route is through the ocean. That's his route. So he's... <laughs> so he's like, great. Great. You want me to do it? Great. I'll do that on my route. And he said, so this is a little south of Miami. And he's like, see you guys later. I'm about to go. And so he dumps them all into the ocean. <laughs> and it was a beautiful wedding anyway. Wow. It's just, it's a happy ending. And it's, it turned out, no one was there. But yeah. it was beautiful. And music and classical music and That's great. Food. That sounds amazing. Can I tell you what the publisher said about it sure. real quick? LAPD Lieutenant Milo Sturgis is a fine homicide detective, but when he needs to get in the mind of a killer, he leans on the expertise of his best friend, the brilliant psychologist, Dr. Alex Delaware. Right, that was one of the people who was invited. Got it. All right. 